Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use OBS Studio. Now, if you'll remember, I made a tutorial on how to use OBS Classic um, about two years ago, and that video is basically blown up in the last year or so. So I can tell that a lot of people want to know how to record games on their computers and stream them. So OBS Studio, right here, is the newest version of OBS, and it, it features a lot of performance improvements and layout changes from the original OBS Classic that I showed you guys how to use a while back. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use and download and configure OBS Studio. So let's get started. First, you want to open the web browser of your choice. I use Mozilla Firefox. Drag it over here. And you're going to want to go to obsproject.com com obsproject.com okay you'll see it says open broadcaster software it says obs studio this should be the main page that shows up now this will this tutorial will work if you're on mac when mac windows or linux i'm going to be doing it on windows 10 but you can do it on any system the linux version is a little bit complicated but if you use linux you probably already knew that so i'm going to be showing you guys how to do this on windows so you're going to click download obs studio It'll give you your choice of operating systems. And for me, we're gonna click Windows 7 Plus. This will work if you're on 7, 8, 8.1, or 10. So you wanna click Save File. And to save some time, I've already installed it, but you're gonna Save File, and then you would run the installer. And you're gonna install the program. It's just like installing any other program. But when it's done, you should get a desktop icon that looks something like this, and it'll say OBS Studio. So we're gonna double click and open that up. And here you go. And you'll see that it looks very similar to OBS Classic, which is what I'm using to record the video right now. Um, but it has some key changes. But I'm just going to show you guys how to record a game so that you can figure out how to do the basic stuff. And then the OBS forums, or if you ask in the comments, um, you know, you can get some help doing some more advanced things. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to open our game. Now for me, I'm going to be using Golf with Your Friends, but this should work with any game that runs in a window and most games that run in full screen. I'm going to be running the game in the window so I can show you guys what's going on without having to use a camera outside of my monitor. Um, but you can run a game in full screen and it'll record just the same. So we're going to open up our game and you'll see that I have it set to window mode. Uh, we're going to do that. So I'm going to open the game here. And I'm just going to make sure the volume is turned off. You would not want to do this. I'm just doing it so that I don't annoy you guys while I'm recording. So we're going to wait for the game to start up here and stop freezing. So now that we have our game open, this could be any game. I'm just using Golf With Your Friends as an example because I think it looks nice. We're going to open up OBS Studio next to it. So we're just going to keep this on top. Now, you'll see that while it's open, it's already tracking your microphone if you have one plugged in and turned on. And that's because OBS Studio tries to automatically use your default microphone and uh, audio source for its recording. However, just to make sure, we're going to want to go to File and then Settings. So go to File Settings and you'll see this menu. And I know there's a lot here, um, but it's actually not that complicated. And I'm going to show you guys the basic stuff that you need to know to get recording with OBS. So first, we're going to go to Video. And you're going to set the resolution here. Now, if you don't know anything about the resolution, then just keep it the same that it is. Um, it should default to 1920 by 1080. The output scaled resolution can be any one of these. Um, just so you guys know, the lowest HD resolution is 1280 by 720. If you go anything lower than that with smaller numbers, it's not going to be HD. So you want to record in at least this, if not higher. Um, as far as the downscaled s filter, this really depends on the strength of your computer. If you've got a bad computer, set it to bilinear, um, but bicubic should be good for most, most people. Uh, you can also record in 30 or 60 FPS. Don't record in any of these other FPS values, frames per second values, because it'll look weird and it won't really work on YouTube. Um, at least it won't in America. So... I'd suggest just sticking to 30 or 60 because those are kind of the internet standard. So once you've got all this set up, we're going to go to the audio tab. Uh, sample rate, you can leave at 44 or 48. It really doesn't matter. They'll sound about the same unless you're using really good audio equipment. But for desktop audio device and mic slash auxiliary audio device, you want to make sure both of those are set to either default or if you have a specific audio device 
like a set of speakers or headphones or a specific microphone that you want to use, you want to make sure that you select it from the list. So in this case, I'm going to leave mine on default, but you'll see that it shows my blue snowball that I'm using to record right now. And it shows my TV that I'm using to uh, output my audio if I had any. So you're going to do that, uh, make sure it's set to stereo, and you'll be all good in the audio tab. So the last thing we got to check out now is output. So for output, you can keep it on simple. Um, advanced has a lot more settings, but for what we're doing right now, you don't really need anything more than the simple setting here. So for your encoder, I would suggest keeping it on software X264. Um, the hardware and Vink might not show up for you. That's totally okay. That's only if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. So a graphics card in your computer made by NVIDIA. The NVENC, um recording codec is really nice in that it doesn't affect your performance as much, but it can leave some really weird choppiness and artifacting in your videos, especially at high frame rates. And generally, it's just a less safe option unless you have a really horrible processor in your computer and a really good graphics card. Um, so I'd say just leave it on software. For the video bitrate, you're going to want to do at least 2500 if you're outputting in HD. Um, but if you have... Um, if you have a really bad computer, you can lower this down as low as maybe 1800 and the video will still be good enough for basic YouTube viewing. For your audio bitrate, um, 96 is good. Um, you don't really need anything higher than 96. Since I have a good microphone, I'm going to use 128, but the default of 160 is a bit high for most people. Um, okay. For your recording path, if you click browse here, there we go. It should open a little window and you can decide where you want your videos to record to. I like recording mine into this folder I have called OBS stream recordings. Um, but you can make it go anywhere on your computer. So you're going to choose wherever you want it and click select folder. For recording quality, choose same as stream, unless you want to use ridiculous file size, which I don't know why you would want to do that. Um, and for recording format, this is very important. You don't want it to be FLV. FLV is flash video, and nobody even uses flash video anymore. But more importantly, you can't edit it very easily, and you can't put it on YouTube. So you want to choose MP4. That's going to be your best bet. That's going to be compatible with any editing software and with YouTube and other file sharing websites. So you're going to put it on MP4. After you've changed all this stuff, you're going to click Apply. And we're going to click OK, and we're going to close out of that, and you'll see this black screen. What you want to do is you want to right-click in the box where it says Sources here, go to Add, and go to Game Capture. Now, there's one important thing that I want to tell you guys right here that I also talked about in my first tutorial. Sometimes you want to use Game Capture, sometimes you want to use Window Capture. It's a little bit complicated, and there's really no rule you can follow for which one you want to use. My advice is to use Game Capture, and if that doesn't work, then you want to go back and try it with Window Capture, in which case your video, your uh, game rather, could not be in full screen on your computer. Um, I'm going to use Game Capture for this because I know it works with Golf With Your Friends, but just try it out. Um, game Capture is always my suggestion. So you're going to go to Create New, and you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this one Golf, and you want to make Source Visible. That's very important. So click OK. And now it's going to ask you for mode, and you want it to be capture any, or capture specific window. That's what you want it to do, capture specific window. For window, you're going to see all of these different things you have open. For me, it's just Golf With Your Friends and OBS Classic, but you're going to choose the game. So I'm going to choose Golf With Your Friends. There you go. You'll see it popped up there, and it popped up there. Once it shows up, you can just click OK. And you'll see it's here. You'll see it also doesn't fill up the whole window here. So you're going to take the little red dot, and you're just going to drag it. And it should snap right into the corner, and you'll see it fills up my whole space here. And once that's done, you can also um, add in a camera if you want by going to Add Video Capture Device, Create New, and choosing your camera. But for now, I'm going to skip that just because it's going to take more time. So once you've got this set up, you can click Start Recording. And here at this point in the video, I'm going to play you guys the recording that I made from inside OBS Studio. So you can see I can join, I can go back, I can host, I can go to Options. 
but you'll see that I'm playing the game and it's recording it in OBS Studio. So this is what that video looks like with the exact settings that I told you guys about in the tutorial. So once you're done recording, you're gonna go back over here and you'll see that the start recording button that I have there now, when you are already recording, it turns into stop recording and you're just gonna click that again it'll say stopping and once it turns back into the little start there your video is done so you can close your game you can close OBS studio and now you're gonna go to the folder where you told your videos to record to in my case it's OBS stream recordings now by default your videos will be named based on the date and time that they were recorded that so you can see that this one was recorded on in 2016 December 6th at 2 16 p.m and 37 seconds whereas this one was at 2 17 p.m and 11 seconds you have to know 24 hour time that's what the little 14 is it means 2 in 24 hour time um and that'll match your computer's time zone so don't worry about that um so yeah once you've got those files there you can then take them and you'll see that they will play just fine in whatever video player you have and here at this point in the video i'm gonna play you guys so yeah that's a little meta huh but uh there you go so that's how you record games in obs studio on windows and that should work on mac and once you have it installed on linux as well if you guys like this video go ahead and give it a like if you didn't like it feel free to give it a dislike but i'd like to know what you think i can do better in the next video or add on to this video. If you've got any questions, I can help you guys out in the comments. And if you wanna see more stuff like this in the future, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I would very much appreciate it. With all that said, I'll see you guys next time. So close it out, bye.